Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie if you're new here. Today we have a pretty exciting video. Today we are unboxing and doing my first impressions on the new iPhone 14 Pro Max and comparing it to my current iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I want to get right into this. I want to open it. I want to see what the hype is about. I have a clear case here just, just in case because I'm not risking you dropping this phone. So let's get right into it. Okay. <laughs> guys she is a beauty so beautiful oh my god i love the white it's so pretty i'm sorry but like how everyone says like this is the same phone over and over again i feel that but it's okay so now for the other asmr part of this So right away, I am noticing the smaller camera, the bigger cameras in the back compared to this one. I don't know if you can tell side by side. It's a way bigger camera. The front is a little bit different. Let's turn this bad boy on. And we're putting a case on this right now. Because being my luck, I would drop it. <laughs> so now, this is honestly the same case and everything. This is the same case that I have on my 12. It's just a simple case. So I just unlocked it. I'm gonna pick English, my region. Oh, why am I all crooked? United States. Okay, and something I like that I've noticed with the new, when you get a new phone and you're gonna have an iPhone, it is so much easier to do like the side by side because, hold up, what is my camera doing? the side-by-side -side setup instead of having to back up your iphone like you used to have to do to your computer and then go through the whole um so you just comes up with a little thing you scan it on your other phone and then set up new iphone set up for me Put in the passcode on this one and it's already setting up your phone so let's see how long it takes it's currently 11 23 a.m so let's see how it does how long it takes for it to be fully set up so i'll come back once it's fully activated and fully set up so we'll see so now it's having me having me do like the simple stuff like the face id which is what i'm doing right now let me see if i can look move my head around i always think it's so funny when they have you do face id i feel like they just have you okay, i don't use a mask see that was quick i feel like face id used to new stuff turn your head so many times back then to be able to set up your phone continue so it needs an update as well so we're gonna update that it's pretty fully charged as well so we'll just let it update and it says it's almost done honestly it is so cute i've been wanting like a white phone for so long like i have the gold now but i feel like some cases just look cuter with a white background that's just my opinion So far, so far, everything's been very easy, very smooth. So I don't want to knock on, I want to knock on wood because sometimes I feel like I used to get so caught up trying to transfer everything over to a new phone, do the whole thing and stuff like that. So to talk about what's in the box while that's working, they don't, they don't provide headphones or anything anymore. They just have a cable and then uh, the little 
instructions thing. They give you a sticker. Oh, they still do give you a sticker. So, there's some instructions. How you don't no longer, so they don't give you a little thing to push in, in and out your sim. Uh oh, why is this starting all over again? Okay, it's like updating still. So. It's preparing the update right now. So yeah, I'll come back once it's all updated and stuff like that. Okay. Hello, well guys. It is many, many hours later. It is now 6.19 and I started with you guys at 11.23 in the morning, right? So let's just say the transfer took a toll for the worse. I don't know what happened, but when I was transferring over from this phone to this phone, this phone got the 14 got stuck in the middle of an update and it glitched and it just wasn't working like it kept telling me to like connect it to my laptop restore the back the phone back to factory settings to then update it but then when I update it says it needs to be restored it was just going back and forth like it was just glitching it just wasn't working so then i had to take a trip to at&t and the guy literally just took the case off my phone was able to like turn it off because it wouldn't even turn off here at the house like it was just stuck on a black screen with a computer on it and he was able to get it back but i've heard that this has been happening to some people when they first get their iphones and like the 14 for some reason since it's an e-sim and it's not like a a sim where you can just transfer from this phone to this phone so that was kind of annoying it was kind of a bummer i was getting really stressed out. i was literally thinking that like i was gonna have to get a new phone <laughs> like i was gonna have to wait again a couple days to have a new phone so I was not excited about that. But so far, first impressions of the phone itself, I actually really do love it. Um, I did a side-by-side -side of like selfies and I'm gonna play, put them both right here. I really like it, the weight, this one for some reason, maybe it's not, maybe it's just me just thinking about it so much. It feels a little bit, the 14 feels a little bit heavier than the 12, but the picture quality is amazing. I love it. It's a little too HD sometimes. Like I feel like you can see way too much of my pores, which this one kind of blurs your pores. But I guess you're, it's just higher picture quality like in itself. But yeah, it's just preference. But yeah, honestly, I think it is so cute. The process would have been easy if it didn't glitch. I'll give them that. So yeah, and then first impressions, I really like the little thing, like little um eye thing. I think it's pretty cool. I, I definitely feel like I have more screen compared. Let me get them both like on the same page. Like I definitely feel like in a way I have more screen. This is like on this phone than this phone. Even though it's like the same size, I definitely feel like I have a lot more screen on this one. I also feel like maybe it's just me um like the sides like the black edges i feel the 12 has more black edges than the 14. so this is like a side-by-side -side comparison and yeah i did an icloud backup and everything transferred over very easily so yay for that and since it is oled screen i have the same wallpapers this one's just a little bit more yellow nude and this one's a little bit more pinky nude you know it's literally the same exact wallpaper I don't know if you guys can tell. This one's a little bit more yellow than this one. So, if you're coming from the 12 to the 14, I say do it because the 12, at least for me, because I did drop this phone a lot and I did get my whole back replaced at one point while having my phone. My camera did start getting foggy and the pictures weren't coming out as HD anymore. So, upgrading to the 14 was definitely worth it. And I know there are some really good Black Friday deals out right now for this new phone like they're giving up to $800 for this one which is what they did for me so yeah I got it in silver I definitely love the silver aesthetic I had the gold for a little bit and um off to white so yeah I hope this video was kind of helpful and gave you an insight of what it is like transferring all your data and stuff like that it sucked that I had that little hiccup down the road but I'm glad that now it's all figured out it's all good and I really love the screen oh something else I want to mention um scrolling on instagram is a little bit different because since i forgot what it's called this one you scroll it's like soft like this one like it kind of gets like lined out like it's just this one's like harsher on your eyes than this one is 
I feel like. So that's also something else to take into consideration. It's just a whole different kind of phone in a way. And then people are saying like you're kind of paying the same like more money for like the same phone you already have. But I feel like coming from the 12 to the 14, it was definitely worth it. And I definitely like it. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out and it motivates you to get the new phone. And this comes from a POE from me. I'm 21 and I don't know much about technology if I'm being quite honest with you. I just know the simple stuff. <laughs> so yeah, um, next video is going to be uh, what's on my iPhone because I am going to customize it and make it a cute little Christmassy nude like play with the iOS 16 with you guys. So stick around for that video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. Bye.